The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier. Our first reading is taken from the second letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. But we hold this treasure in pots of earthenware, so that the immensity of the power is God's and not our own. We are subjected to every kind of hardship, but never distressed. We see no way out, but we never despair. We are pursued, but never cut off, knocked down, but still have some life in us. Always we carry with us in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus too may be visible in our body. Indeed, while we are still alive, we are continually being handed over to death for the sake of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus too may be visible in our mortal flesh. In us then, death is at work. In you, life. But as we have the same spirit of faith as is described in Scripture, I believed and therefore I spoke, we too believe and therefore we too speak, realizing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will raise us up with Jesus in our turn and bring us to himself and you as well. You see, everything is for your benefit so that as grace spreads, so too the glory of God and thanksgiving may also among more and more people. And our response is from Psalm 126. When Yahweh brought back Zion's captives, we lived in a dream. Then our mouths were filled with laughter and our lips with song. Then the nations kept saying, what great deeds Yahweh has done for them. Yes, Yahweh did great deeds for us and we were overjoyed. Bring back, Yahweh, our people from captivity, like torrents in the Negev. Those who sow in tears sing as they reap. He went off, went off weeping, carrying the seed. He comes back, comes back singing, bringing in his sheaves. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then the mother of Zebedee's sons came with her sons to make a request of Jesus and bowed low. And he said to her, what is it you want? She said to him, promise that these two sons of mine may sit one at your right hand and the other at your left in your kingdom. And Jesus answered, you do not know what you are asking. Can you drink the cup that I am going to drink? They replied, we can. He said to them, very well, you shall drink my cup. But as for seats at my right hand and my left, these are not mine to grant. They belong to those to whom they have been allotted by my Father. When the other ten heard this, they were indignant with the two brothers. But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that among the Gentiles, the rulers lord it over them, and great men make their authority felt. Among you, this is not to happen, no. Anyone who wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. The Gospel of the Lord.